So let's say we have a function that doesn't really need to return anything. You know, it, it just does something, but it doesn't really need to return anything. So in this case, should we actually use void? And will void make the program faster? Well, first of all, you shouldn't really care about the performance uh, of not returning anything rather than returning something it really shouldn't matter if it's an inline function and you don't use the return value that might be optimized out by the compiler and if it's a big function then you know that return thing probably it's a very small part of it so it shouldn't really matter and what's more important is actually returning something useful which if your uh, function does uh, memory management let's say it takes a string and then it does a find replace so in this case it might be the case that we need to grow the original string such that we can fit the replacement uh, string right let's say this is going to replace all occurrences of fine with uh, the string replace so we might need to call realloc and of course realloc might uh, it might fail right so should check if it uh, succeeds or not and if it uh, doesn't succeed we should return some value to indicate that uh, we have encountered an error right and of course it's not just malloc you know if it reads a file or if it uh, compiles a regular expression or anything that can fail then you will probably want to return some value to indicate whether uh, a failure has occurred which then can be checked by the user and uh, the user can handle the case where a failure has occurred right and you may want to have an enum you know, So let's say fail minus one and we can handle the error. Uh, my error fail, you know, abort or something, right? You probably don't want to use abort in your function. You probably just want to return uh, value an error value and then the user can handle that uh, return value you know maybe he wants to uh, print an error message to a file or something or even retry the function but uh, yeah so you should really be concerned about returning a useful value even in the case of, you know, we know that stir copy returns the main code. Uh, wait a minute. It returns the original string, which isn't really that useful. But a more useful function is s3 copy, which returns a pointer to the null in destination. So that just saves us a stir line. And you know, it's free, right? Returning the null when we are copying from a source to destination. So if you are working with C strings, that might also be a useful uh, return value. So let's say we have a remove, well, you know, fine and remove 
So in this case, we don't need to manage memory. We can just remove stuff from the string. And then after you have iterated over the whole string, you may want to return a pointer to the uh, null terminator. So, you know, then if we uh, use the function, say we have a string here and use the string and then we have the pointer to the null and then if we want to know the size you know that's a free stern line right because returning this thing is free we already know where the uh, null in the s is so you may want to do something like that 